I hope you enjoyed part one of Adam Ray's sleepover sessions. Um, we get a little high, and let's just say the oven strikes noon at dawn. Two, three, four. Little wine? <laughs> don't mind if I don't. <laughs> Oh. oh, God. Oh, it's so nice to relax. Finally, just a little R&R &R with a little... <laughs> <laughs> with a little what, Adam? With a little... With a little <laughs> cranberry juice from the nectar gods. Oh, this is a bath not <laughs> built for two men. Oh, wait, if you move your legs to the left... Oh, yeah. Ah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, man, bath's rule, dude. <laughs> yeah, Adam, how you been? Hey, now that I got more space, great. I'm, I'm worried about my microphones. <laughs> They're fine. You got a little bu 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 <laughs> oh, God. You got a little bubble bath on them. You're fine. Oh, I haven't taken, a, I haven't taken an actual bath probably in... Oh, boy, you know when a story already sucks? <laughs> you just hear you go. Oh, oh, God, you can you hear yourself 40 years down the line at a barbecue that you weren't invited to, already drunk, like, at 6.30, and you go, yeah, I haven't uh, taken a bubble bath in you know, 14 <laughs> years. And everyone in the circle just goes, I can't wear these. Who, who'd you come with? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so, oh. This thing, God is digging into my hip. Oh yeah, that's you picked that side. I gotta be honest. I was Don't like, lie. I was like, but how am I gonna? I was like, good luck with that side. Because of the fountain, with the spout. What's it called? What's the thing that the water comes out of? Um, careful with the bubbles in the. You're getting a lot of bubbles on the microphone by trying to Just cover yourself. <laughs> that did it actually. We're good. So Adam. Yeah. Adam. Yes. Adam. This is really fun. It's not, it's not awful. I like that you decided to sleep over. All my friends, when I ask them to sleep over, you know what they say? What? No thanks. Yikes. Yeah, I don't know. Well, look, it's a, it's a, in the quarantine, there's a lot of things to say no to. But, but, and I get not saying yes to this, but also, why? What, what, do you have a family? Do you uh, have, are you trying to be super safe? I got tested, you got tested. Uh, do you, does it sound too much? Are you too much of an adult that if stuff sounds too much like stuff kids would do, does it, are you not at a point in your life where you judge that and go, ah, oh, come on, do what I did as a kid? You, yeah, but adult, the adult version, you're a beach, there's booze, there's baths, there's weed, um, there's everything that you need, you know, the old Irish saying, and, uh, there's booze, there's baths, there's bowls, there's beach. <laughs> Everything that you need, boy. <laughs> Jamaican Irish. <laughs> Worst cereal ever. Dad. <laughs> you, you, you on an amazing first date, taking the girl back to the hotel, getting in a bath with her, keeping your sunglasses on, and being too scared to fuck her. So you do that, and she's over here like this. <laughs> like, too scared to ask to switch sides. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I think I'm going to get out, and I go, Great movie, great movie, terrifying, but the acting's phenomenal, and it's a real thrill ride, but in in a scary way, because man, Bradley Whitford and Catherine Keener were fucking 
diabolical Dude, in the what worst are you way. Talking about, man? What the <laughs> fuck? This is my you movie about? review show. Oh, oh, Shut the fuck up. This is my movie review show. Oh, I Welcome know, back I to Tubbin' It. I Shut just, up. Oh. Hey guys, Adam Ray here. Welcome back to movies that we saw. <laughs> you, now we're in a tub. You have now we're in a tub. <laughs> movies that you saw. Welcome back to Tubbin' It. Welcome back to. T- oh, to fuck. Oh, bath. You get a uh, bathtub in your eye? <laughs> you God. You did it again. <laughs> I, it's like. It's like <laughs> oh, shit. If you, ha- you, you ha- ain't real. <laughs> still. Adam. Adam. You still it's ain't me. real. Oh. Hi, I'm Rick Glassman, and this is Adam Ray from Take Your Shoes Off 2.0. If you thought that clip was funny, donate to ALS, donate to Black Lives Matter, yeah. donate to the Jewish Federation of, uh, of, of Illiterates. Donate to uh, Seth Meyers, there's a great one called, I think, Good Harvest or Good Harvest. Great Harvest. It's a, a food bank. Uh, Too much details about it. We're just listing stuff right now. Google, food, Google food banks. Oh, yeah, well, how about Path? People assisting the homeless. It's a really good one where they take a family. And, and we bring them into their own home. We help them get a job. That's PATH. That's, That's a show I that. That's a great charity that I, that I do a lot of work with. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm into it. So I noticed you've got some frozen bubble bath. Now, explain that. Where does that come from? Look, I've seen Frozen eight times with my nieces. When I sing now, they tell me to shut up. And I go, you know what? At some point, you're going to have to... I sing during your movies. At some point, you're going to have to... Let it go, let it go. And they go, that's not funny. I go, no, they don't say that. They're sweet, but... Excuse me, sir. Oh, ha! Huh. hello, bubble bath babushka lady. I was wondering if I could get a little help. Oh, um, yeah, what, what's going on? I can't find my son. Who's your son? He looks like this. Could you help me find my son? Yeah, you just held your hand up. I don't know what that means. No, this isn't working for me. What's your name, lady? I am the peculiar of bad improvisers, and I've found one. <laughs> it's you. Spell peculiar. P-U-R-C-U-R-U-E-R. You going to the mall? I take it from here. <laughs> I'm a big swing of this. <laughs> Glassman at the uh, up to bat now. Uh, he's got. He comes to the play with two strikes already on him. Uh, we'll see how he does on this first uh, pitch. Swing and a foul ball back into the stands. Glassman now still count 0 two. He came up to the plate with a towel on his head, uh, doing a bit of a woman. I, we don't know if she was a landlord or a chef, but she had a, an attitude problem. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Uh, swing and a fly ball popped up the center field. Glassman, uh, nope, that was a foul ball again. I can't actually. He's uh, back in the dugout freaking out. <laughs> Wiping his face. He got shampoo in his eyes. Uh, barely let him take showers in between and bats. Adam, yeah. uh, this is a segment I like to, I, I have called um, uh, bubble bruisings. And this Hilarious. is a moment where, where we dish out. We, where we tell all, where we tell the people, it's our Yo Mama. Remember that on MTV? Um, okay. Do you know about Yo MTV? Dude. It was a pilot that I did uh, years ago with DeWalt. Yeah. I'll just cut to a clip. Yo, what's up, MTV? Rick Glassman here from That Guy and His Friend Comedy. I'm about to go up into Starbucks, order a soy latte. I'm going to taste it. I'm going to spit out and say, yo, this is real milk. We got Ryan in there to be the barista. We got Jolene to be the customer. And we got David Speckham to be the manager. Follow me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Remember, remember this? Remember this? Yeah. We, from the last episode, I go, why were people so willing to fucking say who's there? Look through the peephole first. I have a bigger problem. Strangers coming on your property? It's, it's not even a literal problem. It's a literary problem. And there is oftentimes only a small difference. Mm-hmm. But here... Night and day is too similar because they're both times around the sun, my friend. Yeah. This is like night and orange juice. I don't even know what time it is right now. 
Doesn't matter. Guess what? In some countries, it's 3 p.m. In some countries, it's 9 a.m. Right now, here, this is our time. <sighs> Sean Essen from Goonies. This is our time. Down here, what it's was their I time. Talking Up about? here, <sighs> it's our time. It Why does he keep miming the inhaler? Because we don't have the prop. We'll bring it on set tomorrow. Literary. What was the literary? A literary discussion. about Knock, knock. The problem that I have is it's a full joke structure based on the first person not giving the second person enough information. Right. So off the bat. I'm out. It's, it's about a disconnection when I'm trying to connect to this person telling yeah. me a joke. Yeah. So it's an uphill battle. So they decided to structure this uphill battle to be ironic by design. So people knew the structure, blank, blank who, they already knew it's not until the blank who. But then we lose the irony. We use, lose the intention. And now we're stuck with a redundant joke that has an extra setup without a payoff. So not only does it take longer to get there, it stifles the momentum of the previous laugh. Yeah. So I have a new structure I'd like to do. Please. It's called this. Amos. Tamus. And then we don't have to knock. We don't have to invite ourselves over. We don't have to make the other person feel obligated. <laughs> you just say, salt. Fault? Right. And if the person wants to say salt who, <laughs> let them oh, yeah. decide. <laughs> well, I think you lose yourself in the irony. You lose yourself in the moment. The moment you lose it, you own it. Because you can never stop giving to the crux you can. My gimmick, no limits. It's the cucks we ran. But if you're swimming in the pool, you just be swimming in cans. But if you let it just settle and let it just come up again, you got to bubble bath, bubble bath, bubble bath, bubble bath, bubble bath with friends. Now listen, now we just sitting on the frozen and soap. We got bubbles in the eyes and we smoking some dope. Now I'm just acting like I'm living in pride. We got no glasses and one and some glass on the side. Now we just looking in the sun like we just looking in the light. The blindness is the sightness till we find it to fright. Cause we be scared of our potential. We scared of what we own, but never stop it or give it or love it or love it. Just rent it own. Cause we just living a life in solitude <laughs> with a bad mother and a badass who's rude. Now if he slows the beat down, I'll have to end too soon. So speed it up, baby, and give me a trifoon. <laughs> Fuck, I meant to say the thing, the horn. The French horn. No, the rhymes with the trifoon. <laughs> Things that guys put on their salad. Yeah, but what rhymes with trifoon? It's a horn. Trombone. Trombone. <laughs> now listen to me when I tell you rocking alone. Cause on the surface I'm just calm, but I got trifoon. Or something else inside the water. Let me scream. Cause baby, get on your ass and let me stink on your knees. Now live in the bubble bu bath. Boom, live in the bubble bubble bat 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 live in the bubble bubble bat live in the bubble bubble bat 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 bubble and bubble a bubble of toys and trouble now listen to me when i tell you that maybe i'm learning the trials of rubble because it's the lord above who knocks it's the lord above who answers but make sure you get out and vote because that's the only answer now we bubble up but 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 bubble the bubble the bat 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 bubble up but 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 bubble the bubble the bat bat now listen to me, I'm telling how you drew me I'm about to put it on, now baby, you just run it through me If I sizzle and take a swallow Then how will you know if you don't say the night So I tell you to do tomorrow now Just we share a twin bed We swear, we swear we're twin bed I swear a twin bed, swear some good head But baby, we get it some gluten-free bread and raw toast Some almond butter too Now welcome to a couple of bats with a couple of Jews Bubble bear Getting your face on? Remember, we're just coming out of the bath. I was laying down, and you were like that, and you snapped. And the subscribers come rolling in whenever you're ready. Two, three. Save it. Send it to my agents. I'm sweating so hot I could taste it. Whether it be nobler in the mind to suffer the struggle of everything that's ever erased it. They say a pen writes in blood. Oh, I thought that was in the headphones. When the motorcycle zips, you gotta be plipped to make sure that the zip don't clip. Yo, trip in on the street. <laughs> Trying to find that fancy Shh, beat. I'm worried. I'm worried that we're being too loud because we're, we're at my being aunt's, too good. <laughs> aunt's that place. That rhyme's going to break the internet. You 
when you hear a secondary fly by, make sure that you're near, cause I want It's louder to make- because of the headphones. Oh. It's not as loud. I've, it's weird when you have them like this. It just sounds like my ears are like my parents' ears when I used to get back uh, in fat. high school. Back no, fat. early. You remember Adam? Adam? Adam. Adam. Do you remember when we were in high school? And we, Let me tell you a story and tell me if you can connect to this. High school. I'm out, my friends, after a ball game. Okay, with a couple of shots of Jaeg. Nice. All right. So maybe maybe Jaeger shots. Maybe we smoke Wouldn't a joint. You just take a Jaeger shot and go, ain't nothing going to get me down. Uh-huh. This is one of those stories. And uh, I'm out I'm kissing this girl. We dancing. We slow dancing. Ooh. It's getting hot in here. And you know what I do to that song? Slow dance. People call it grind, but not like that kind of stuff. Now, that's a fun bit, but does the that, girl dig it? Dude, why don't you hear the rest of the story? And you tell me how she dug it. So I, I drop her off. I kiss her on the lips. Just no tongue. Don't even try to do tongue. It's not a scared kiss. It's tongue more, is a very del- delicate thing. You have to, that's, you got to earn trust on a couple different fronts before tongue is a part of the equation. I think. I can't well, you remember the first time I did it. Actually, I know the first time I, I kissed with tongue. My sister's friend, when I was fucking in the fifth grade, I was downstairs watching You TV were having sex with her in the fifth grade? No, man. You just, understand how just, I could have thought that's what you meant. Just a tongue kiss. She came downstairs and she was like, what are you doing? I was like watching TV. And then she started kissing me. And I was just like, uh. And she started using her tongue and it was so fucking weird. And it was like, I was like, uh, 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 I didn't know how to receive it or... Right. you know meet her halfway right. so so it was just an attack it was just a tongue attack a classic tongue attack CTA? by the way tongue attack a cta if tongue attack ever came back whether it goes up to down patty to whack i'd take a quack 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 over a smack 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 you dig because that's it. a fact <laughs> oh uh, you saved it yeah adam if you could think of any word to rhyme with boogie what's the first one and why woogie because the boogie woogie, the beat is everyone a, else who ever competed against them. Uh, that's one of the greatest lines of all time. The boogie to the boogie, the or the boogie to the woogie. Wait a second, woogie felt n- like the first thing I should say, but then now that, looking back, I'm going maybe it was shuggy. Can I touch on that? Yeah, Adam. Adam, when you look back on something and think you should have done something, oh, hey, that's comfy. Yep. What if we snapped instead of waved? People would stop being so wasteful with their time. This is a very aggressive move. My Aunt Shirley, 96, rest in life. Are you serious? Don't call me serious. Unless it's Yahoo serious. But then I'll take a chocolate Yahoo and put the serious on the side. No, to go back to the other story. <laughs> Whatever it was. I don't remember. My Aunt anyway. Shirley's 98. Are, are, you, are you being serious? Yes. She does this a lot, and it's fucking annoying. But she's 98, so she's like, if you're like a, let's say you're at a Denny's, right? Okay, I'm at a Denny's. You're at a Denny's. You're sitting there. You open the menu. It's fucking big. There's four to 62 pages of meals and deals on wheels for your frills. So they bring no, over the they say. bring over a plate of pies. They bring over fucking jugs of root beer floats. They bring over an IV connected to a nacho machine. And they go, <laughs> suck on the cheese if you dare, Dan. And you go, my name's Martha. Amazing. I thought you were a man. What, that's a woman? Yeah, and so then you're hooked up to all sorts of Denny cheese machines. And halfway through that, you go, I don't even know. <laughs> hey, Adam, Adam. <laughs> if I'm allowed. Adam. So Shirley goes like this. Shirley goes, so you're at Denny's, you're chilling, you're looking through the menu, and you see a, yeah, a waitress. Just do it so you fa- see much a wait- faster. You see a waitress four tables away. She'll go, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> oh, it's bad. That's- and I always go, Shirley, Shirley. She goes, what, what, what? You don't want to eat? And I go, I do, I do. You just, that's a lot right now. You want to talk about each other's firsts? All right. First anything, dude, whether it's BJ or first time getting accepted to school. That was a big deal. First friend, first lover. Let's do it. First, um, you know, time smoking. Pot, yeah. I've, all these I remember vividly. It was just crazy. All right. There's a saying. Whoever says it? Tom Selleck. Yeah. Ed Harris. We all know what it is. Morgan so let's Freeman. move on. Somebody says, you never forget. Move on. Move on. Mulan? Movie on phone. Mulan at 7 o'clock. If you say, boy, remember movie phone? No. 
All right. <laughs> could you explain it to me? No, can we do the first? You thing? call you call a hotline to find out what the movie yeah. times were. So it was like, "Hello and welcome oh, to Jesus. Movie Fight." I have to let everybody know for Showtime. That Adam said to one. me. If there's any way we do more than one episode, could he please use an excuse to do his movie phone bit? And I think it's a little forced. I'm bullying you again. Listen. Hello, and welcome to Movie Phone. Oh, it's just, it's For Showtime's, press it's, one. It's just hard. For Dimitri <sighs> Martin movies, press four. For Anne Hayes films, you know, like, press six. He's so funny. For a list of I just don't know drinks do and in food these moments snacks, just like, press two. I just don't know what he's saying. If your parents <laughs> dropped you know. off and, and there's you a good can't chance get a ride I'm home, wrong. press a chance, zero. You all understand what he's saying. But when I get for like this with him, popcorn I don't know. Money can buy, so I just I don't want to be mean. For Denzel movies, press nine. Like, what are you doing? If you've seen Forrest Gump just, twice we'll at go home, on but forever. can't get enough of that theater experience, I actually but, remember there is one thing that gets Adam's attention. It's putting up your finger, telling the fourth wall that there's one thing, because Adam. When you were seven years old, what did your uncle tell you you would never be able to accomplish? What was that one thing? Wow. Well, my uncle Jackie's my real that's the uncle I remember. <laughs> Is there a bit here? Just no, just Oh. Uncle Jackie, for real. Just tell me what it was. He what he, that I would never accomplish? Yeah. He goes, You'll never sit in a unicorn onesie on a couch in Oxnard during a pandemic and be able to tell a good story about me. And I agree. What the fuck? You crazy. But like it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> worth it. <laughs> it was, man. The old switcheroo. The old onesie switcheroo. Hi, I'm Davin Davenport. And boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> Got him. Look, there's certain things I'll wear and th and certain things I won't wear. If you were to ask me to make a list 10 years ago of things I wouldn't wear, unicorn onesie wouldn't be on it. Because I, again, we've talked about on and off air, things that are indicative of you becoming a bummer, right? Finding things to get upset about at gyms. Hey, that guy's on his phone on the elliptical. If you report that, something You else might be a redneck. <laughs> Give me another one. <laughs> if you report somebody <laughs> on an elliptical talking on the phone to their aunt Shirley too long, you <laughs> might be a redneck. <laughs> it's really, really funny. Voices are so funny, man. <laughs> if you question your friend in a unicorn onesie while you were in a dragon onesie <laughs> with two pizzas waiting by the side <laughs> uneaten, you <laughs> might be a redneck. Oh, Yeah, that guy cashed in. I would love to know the origins of that because there's part of me that goes, somebody told you to say that. You didn't come up with that. And does that guy get any sort of residuals or does... He and Jeff just every now and then look at each other and go, the good old days. And then he's like, you owe me a hot tub, man. And he goes, wow, why? Dude, I told you to start saying that and you didn't ever like tell people. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Comedy conspiracies, man. Yes. But also, who gives a fuck? Well, listen. Uh, sorry, do you know where the bathroom is? Guy at the barbecue who's like, realizes he just gets too real about something the guy doesn't care about. So he's like, um, I got to pee. Is there, where's the bathroom? Best out, always. Or where's the, because bathroom, you're not taking anything. You're only giving it. <laughs> if it's like a kitchen, you're like, I'm going to get another drink. Do you know where the bar is at? Everyone's like, fuck, this guy needs another drink. You just took from my life. You're trying to take more snacks and beverages. But when you go pee or go to the bathroom, you're dropping things off. Yeah. Tell you, he would lose his marbles if it was if you wanted to. If it to. You know, there's a there's an old saying that goes, first you lose to learn a lesson, okay. then you win the rest. But if the third time comes around, you feel yourself abreast, you find a situation to guarantee a win. Because winning isn't winning, man. It's perspective. Lift your chin. 
How could I ever tell a person I don't mean what I do if honesty is my biggest flaw? By calling it a mistake, so what is it to by you? angering myself, I realize my obstacle most of all. Perspective. I can't ever stop thinking about the way I feel when the way I feel is calculated every fucking meal. I think about perspective and introspective thought, but then I realize nothing's real. Or at least, so I thought. Maybe I should go back to the mall where I bought that shirt, but nobody understands the hurt, the pain that lives you inside are, my brain. You are uh, everything. Wait, wait. <laughs> Try. It feels like uh, that Adam isn't actually here and I'm just really high, and I'm trying to think of stuff, and my psyche is blocking myself out. And like it's this mythical character of a unicorn, but it's not real. And I just want people at home to recognize that. Reality truly is perspective. You look up, you see rain and clouds, you don't see the sky, but it's always there. So if we could harness our reality, not to manipulate the truth, Rather, see it from enough angles where we could choose to understand uncertainty rather than knowing the ultimate truth, which the only one is, we can never know. What you think is tall, I think is short. What you think is orange chicken, I think is general sow. It doesn't mean the thing's different. Take that how you will. And more realistically, don't take it how you won't. And trust that Process is process. It's process. Holy shit, Rick. All right. I hope you sit down <laughs> because I was just at the craziest place. Where were you? The TYSO Patreon page where there was all sorts of exclusive content, bonus episodes, merchandise you can only get from the Patreon. Patreon dot com slash take your shoes off is a wild ride <laughs> i've been to theme parks water parks <laughs> dentist offices and there's no thrill that i get out of life more than patreon.com slash take your shoes off you could trust somebody you've never met or you could trust me the guy who says the thing about what you heard so go back reflect on the moment look in the mirror and ask yourself I have a couple of bucks to kick to a struggling artist. Yeah. <laughs> do I do it in my everyday? No, because routines are routines. Oh, I'm so hot. Because poutines. <sighs> so, you mean, go back, check the game tape, make the right call. <sighs> Patreon.com slash take your shoes off. You know what they say in the barn? If it ain't, if it ain't a cow with a problem, I don't know where to get the milk from. <laughs> That's not a saying. <laughs> Fuck. God. <laughs> hey, Adam. Yeah. What's up, man? Do you want to do a dramatic scene with me? Yo, dude, I would love nothing more than to do drama. Because if there's anything, it, I'd love to. Ooh, is, that, uh, is that Tim, by chance? Who? Is Tim texting you? No. Okay. Is there um, something you'd rather be doing more now than no. filing our reports? No. Oh, um, Mr. Larson, I have been unhappy at this job for about six months now. And when you talk, all I want to do is text. So right. what does hey, that say hey, about Kev, the job? Kev, why don't you just, hey, hey, hey. What, Mr. Larson? I can't Life have you. is passing you by. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm not going to yell in front of my employees. I'm not going to look like a petty man. But I swear to God, I swear to God, if you're not out of here in 120 seconds, I'm going to put my right knee through your fucking nose. Do you I like Nino's pizza? It's nothing like what I'm going to do to your face. Oh, knock, knock. Who's there? 
Mr. Mr. Who? Mr. Larson. Mr. Larson, what are you doing at my door? I'm just wondering if I could borrow your weights because I need to pump up my fucking muscles for the next eight months just in case Kevin decides to tell me that when I talk, he texts. Well, I got a newsflash for you, Mr. Larson, who comes to my front door to borrow some weights, to work out, to get stronger for a couple of months. So just in case Kevin comes over and says my voice makes him want to text, I'm ready for it. Who? Or is it whom? It's hoove. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I used to work at Nino's Pizza. <laughs> First of all, we haven't acknowledged this yet, but By we've way, been shaking it's hands, just a lot of coughing all the over the place for you, <laughs> taking a bath together, and we didn't even acknowledge the fact that it's my Aunt Sissy's 38th Spissy. Oh, Jing, I messed Jing. that up. Snap. I hate messing things oh, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's only one thing I hate more than messing things up. It's messing things down. Hi, I'm Evangel Salamander. And I'm Correspondy Lizard Bitch. And we together have a new type of music that the people at home are gonna love. It's a cross between spoken word and word spoken. Two, three, four. Who? Ah. Who? Ah. Who? Ah, who? Ah, people try ah, to find ah, the thing ah, that gets them excited. Ah, ah, but you don't know, ah, but you don't know, but ah, you don't know what that ah, is. I, I, I spoke on a feeling. I started believing. There's nothing wrong with you. Gotta get a feeling. Gotta get a feeling. Ah. 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 So Wait a minute. Did we forget anything at home? Did you close the garage? Mark, I sold the garage. Did you turn off the coffee maker? I sold the house. Well, then what is it that we forgot? It must be nothing. Adam, three, two, one. Kevin! Oh, that's who. Oof. <laughs> Yo, man, this Kevin. is... Kevin, dude, the Home Alone... Catherine O'Hara realization that her kid is not on the plane. The H O C O V T P is unreal. It should go down in movie moments. Best movie moments. Say it at the same time. One, two, three. Best, Best movie, movie moments, moments of our 90s of time. Uh, but, dude. Because it's such a quick moment. It's a oh, two. No. What are the best 90s mo two second movie moments? I'll answer you. I just have to say one thing. Because goes like this. <gasps> I just Kevin! Kevin! And that's three seconds. She does, Kevin grabs his cheeks. She doesn't grab her cheeks. No, Kevin's not on the plane with her. No, Kevin grabs his cheeks when he puts the aftershave on. Ah! Catherine O'Hara oh. just sits up and says, Kevin. Oh, that's right. I combined two, two special... See? Two, two second moments. Which one's better? Catherine O'Hara going... <laughs> Kevin! Put the clip that I just did right next to me. Or when Macaulay Culkin is finally enjoying his independence, he took care of himself, he gets his aftershave, he looks in the mirror, he puts it on, and... Kevin! No, 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 he just screams. I know, I did what you did. See how stupid it looked? <laughs> <laughs> and then you try to recover by saying, yeah, exactly, two different two second. <laughs> like, it was this math that you conjured up. <laughs> Commit to the bit if you don't got the tit, but you do because you're a person and you got two nipples. That's what oh boy, you know, like, like this is our job is, is, uh, 
pan out were in the ER. <laughs> <laughs> we were just trying to make people feel better by wearing costumes, but then like oh. we got overcrowded. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> that was really funny. <sighs> How, would, How? You, would you ever Let's, sleep in oh. this outfit? Dude, I don't think so. You? Hey, man, you got some place to be? <laughs> Kevin, I'm fine. Adam, people are watching this at home, and at any moment there's a downtime. They might turn to another podcast. I have to keep them engaged. So when you're on your phone, oh, I have double duty. Oh, there's a podcast that's more entertaining than what's happening. I challenge you, Katie Couric. She has a podcast. I challenge you with Katie Couric. Oh, that's actually a great idea. If Katie Couric came with a podcast called I Ch Turn into Katie Couric. <laughs> Hi, I'm Katie. Flimp. Hi, I'm Katie Couric. And you know, this COVID's been gnarly, but thinks it's about time. Hey. <laughs> Hello. We interrupt this episode to invite you to join our Patreon. Also, I didn't talk to you about, I wanted to, you were impressed with the guest that I had on. Oh. I saw a comment because I subscribe to the TYSO podcast. I'm a fan. I ain't just a member. I'm a fan. Hell yeah. It's the other way around. I'm not just a fan. I'm a member because fan is free. Member is Either way, cost. compliment is expressed. But it's I'm not just a fan. I'm a member. That's like saying I don't just have $20. I have $10. And we know you do. It's the other way. I don't just have $10. I have $20. I'm a fan in Thanks. general. We'd love so, to get you to sign up for a membership. Is, uh, <laughs> the setup everything the gags the friendship it's all great but i see a comment of someone joking about will smith and then i see an additional comment hey what's up with will smith and then i see when is will smith coming on and then yes something about will smith came on the podcast i should have led with that when i arrived but i uh brought you it had up a tonight. rough drive huh you had a rough drive rough drive but i brought it up to you um that's what a dog says when he's yelling at you from the front seat to get going. Ruff, drive! Or uh, a motivational speaker who's a dog. And, uh, right. and he goes, you, gotta, you know what your problem is, Caleb? You're stuck in the gutter. You're stuck in this way of thinking that's not conducive for positive forward progress. Positive. What you need to do is ruff, drive. You need drive, Caleb. You need motivation. You need rough. Drive. <laughs> Boy, I'm quitting comedy tonight. <laughs> you scratched yourself like a dog. <laughs> uh, yeah, we had Will Smith on. and Wait, what? So it started off as a gag. I was looking at who Will Smith follows. And I know, you know, you know we have mutual people. And I would, have, I would post them in something that is saying that Will Smith tag him, blah, 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 blah. And he just wrote back, ha, ha. And, wait, uh, wait, 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 what? So you, would, you posted something? People that he follows... I would post stuff with them for them to repost it so he would see it. And then he wrote me, ha ha. In a DM? Yes. So I don't know, do I write him back or do I try and have representation set stuff up? Um, I call my agents and he is there. He's at the place. So I, wa I thought I wanted, I just have to go. I just have to show up. And then, you know, like what? The agents would be like, that's the guy that you DM'd. Like, I don't know what the big, okay? Like, this oh guy's crazy God. now. Um, so I told him that. And I wrote a message just saying, this was my instinct. If I should have done it, I'll regret it. But how would I know? And he wrote, ha ha. And I said, dude. And I sent him clips of me wanting to have him on the podcast. And uh, he let me meet him next time we went at the agency. And we did it like in a, not the VO, not where you do VO. But in the room, you know, where the computers and stuff yes. are, because that's where equipment was. Uh, and I brought two cameras. And I was thinking about doing it my 100th episode or some special one. Uh, it's not a, it's, I mean, it's 40 plus minutes, but with Will Smith. So it literally went from him responding ha ha twice to you saying, can I meet you at the agency? Well, the joke, because he knew what it, it was. Like, I made a joke explaining my, my, my want to him. So it was like, it becomes a joke to say, so you want a podcast? As opposed to just like, hey man, thanks for saying ha ha, you want a podcast with me? It's like, no, get away. Yeah. But he thought the podcast bit was funny. So he said, sure. And then? 
I don't want to, I'll tell you after, I don't want, I want, I like teasing it. I don't want to, it's fucking mental. It's fucking was mental. Was it great? It was I amazing. Can't, I can't see how it not being anything short of amazing. It was amazing. Um, and did, uh, he pl- did he play? Tell me this. Did he play? The whole bit is that I see somebody that looks like Will Smith, and I think it's Will Smith, but it's not Will Smith, but I don't know that. So I'm doing a podcast with somebody who I'm convinced is Will Smith, but the audience knows it's not Will Smith. Will Smith is playing a guy that looks like Will Smith. So he's trying to be Will Smith. He's saying Fresh Prince shit. He's doing Are the you rap. Fucking kidding me? It's fucking insane. Are you kidding me? No. Um, and no email addresses or numbers were exchanged. Not that I was going to ask, but I obviously wanted him to ask. And uh, a thousand percent. And I you st- want him to go, dude? That was fucking crazy and fun. Come to my house for my Super Bowl party. Yeah, or you know the NBA Finals. I don't watch football, but if you want, I would Whoa, study football yeah. if he asked to come yep. over to the Super Bowl. Or I would be up front and tell him beforehand. But I don't want to worry. Does Will Smith think that I know more about football? And then I'm in a situation where like you're pretending to know about football. You don't Classic want, sitcom. You don't want Will Smith to worry, and that's a great game show for. It's a good T-shirt. Somebody to make. You don't. He's want so it. cool and easy to find perspective and take the flow that it's like. See if you just see if you could get Will Smith to worry. He went on he went on national YouTube and had a conversation about about uh, her taking a uh, what was the term? Entangle- a sabbatical entanglement. I think it was sabbatical when she left acting for a few years. What are you talking about? Who? She had an affair. <laughs> what? Anyway, what I'm saying is he doesn't worry much. So yeah, see if you could wake make Will Smith worry. worry. Was he? Was he? Was he? Did he make you laugh? I. I'm, I was uh, I was in, and I'm so proud of myself that I kept in it, because I mean a couple times uh, I didn't break. He never broke, um, but it was it was I couldn't tell how much of it was the funniest thing ever and how much of this this is fucking mental. How much time did he say he was going to give you versus how much? I didn't. Time did I didn't. You? I just brought the cameras. I didn't ask. Oh, you didn't even set a time. No. Cool. No, I was in there for probably two hours, just waiting. And then he walked in, and I don't know if he's going to say, "What's up, man? That's funny." take a picture or whatever, but I had everything rolling and he just walked in and sat down and I said, could I help you with anything? And he uh, just acts like this regular guy until I go, are you? And he goes, what? And he is like, he doesn't know what's going on. And I go, and then like nothing. And we didn't even talk. We didn't, none of us talked about any of this. So I'm just sitting there like confused and I'm just looking at him. And he's just on his phone. And, I go, uh, and then I look, pull up, uh, I pull up a picture of Will so I could show it to him. But to, for camera to see, I looked him up. And we said, I don't know, it was probably a minute, but a minute in silence looking at it. And I go, are you Will Smith? And then he plays, it's big. It's, I mean, it's fun. He's just like this big, like, yeah. Like he realizes I'm Will Smith and how he's fucking with me. And then I, it was Will Smith. But it wasn't Will Smith. Wow. And we did that, that part of the bit for at least a half hour. Um, the finish, the finish stuff is 48 minutes. I did not take out much. Um, but there was stuff like afterwards that will again be on Patreon only, patreon.com slash shake your shoes off of like the us talking after and stuff. Oh my God. But I don't want to talk much more about it, but it's amazing. And I don't know when I'm going to post it. How many episodes are you at right now? I think this is in the mid to late eighties, which is arguably Will Smith's not prime, but origin. Origin for sure. Uh, nineties, I think is when he's safely well, took things to the it's next It's not when level. he became a uh, legend. No. Big Willie Weekend, July 4th for movies. Did you just, were you a frog? <laughs> you think I'm not, not going to see that? <laughs> Big Willie Weekend, which was considered July 4th weekend for the box office film release, was an astronomical weekend money-wise. Wild Wild West, which Jim was West. not great, Desperado, but crushed. Rough Rider. Nope. No, you don't want nada. None of this. Six gun in this. Brother running this. Buffalo Soldier. Look, it's like I told you. Hey, any damsel that's in distress, be out of this mess. What's he meet Jim West? Rough necks to go check the law and abide. Watch your step, watch your flex, watch your roll in your side. Swallow your pride. Don't let your hips react. You don't want to see my hand where my hip be at with Artemis. From the start of this, front of the game. James West, name of the West. So remember the name. Now who you going to call? Hell now, who yeah. are you going to call? <laughs> <Hell> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I asked him, I wanted to do a performance with him and do like a music video and put it in afterwards. Uh, and he didn't get like turned off, but he didn't think it was funny. So he went, all right, man. And I got so cold. Yeah. And then he told me he was fucking with me and he was just joking. And then I said, I don't think that kind of shit's funny. You know, I look up to you. 
And he goes, doesn't know if I'm joking or serious or not. And he goes, yeah, just like kind of like alphaing it. And then when he goes, yeah, I go, he goes and leaves. And I don't know what the fuck just happened. And I haven't heard from him. I wrote him back. I said, it's funny. I'll tell you when it comes out. And he has it on scene. There were dots and then there were knots. Oh, dots than knots is worse than Don Knots not responding. Good news. The next morning I woke up. He replied. What did he say? He goes, funny, man. Let me know. Which means he's going to post that shit. Dude. And if Will Smith posts being on your podcast, get ready, get ready for it. Because here it comes. Get ready for here it comes. Yeah. Get ready because here it comes. Bam, 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 bam. That's going to be crazy. And entertainment sites. Did you just <laughs> come to Earth and learn all vocabulary except for the word entertainment and sites? And I just found out that you're actually an alien? Entertainment. No. Uh, oh, also, I'm sorry. I forgot. Um, my goblin has a gift for you. Please. Bring it in. Dump on his head. Dump on his head. Huh? <laughs> Jesus, man. Right. I'll see you later, Goblin. In bed. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I don't want to tease it anymore, but it's wild. <laughs> you touch your tongue a lot. And I know we got tested, but my arms are exhausted. Born to the rhythm and the rhythm I'm grind. Working in the rolling in the take your time. Look to the corner and back in the bed. Call up your mother and call a friend. Cause Nick we live. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> what did you just say, dude? <laughs> did you just say what I think you just said, dude? Did you say Nick at night? <laughs> Isn't it crazy that Fresh Prince is on Nick at night now? When <laughs> I was a kid, it used to be Dick Van Dyke. <laughs> oh, shit. I said it now, too. <laughs> you oh. can't say that, man. Oh. You fired. You canceled. From the world. You, you fired. fired. You canceled. <laughs> From the world, you fired, you canceled. From, From the, the world. world, I don't think so. We stand and rise. I'm my own little girl. When I was seven years old, my mother told me I'm not. I thought she was crazy. I promised. I'm seven, I thought. But then I realized I was born six years before I was 13 years old. And I just was about losing my mind. I thought I was seven. I was five. I was trying to figure <laughs> out what it means to be alive. I was five. I was trying to figure out what it means to be alive. Dude, this is so funny. I can't. This, I mean, oh, I know watching myself editing this, I'm not going to know what to keep in, but I'm, I'm having such a good time. Oh, man. That last 20 or 30 minutes was a well, real blast. Oh, man. And I, so, so look, look, if I'm cold shiver, no, I thought you were gonna say you no, no, and real. your, and I'd say me. Did you feel my cold shiver? No, I once cold shivered while looking at another guy at a coffee shop. Where was this one thing where, like, let's say you're there and I'm here for the sake of the story, and I'm having a coffee, and you know, you're at a coffee shop, it's like an airport, you randomly glance, you look around. I space out a lot, and you know, it's just, I'm not proud of it, but I space out. I just, I fucking wander. I don't know if it's ADHD or whatever, but I'm wandering, looking like that. And I look, and I just went over, and all of a sudden, this guy kind of glanced at the same time. He's just like, and he just kind of looked at each other. And then I had a cold shiver, and I went, as I was staring at him, and I go, <laughs> which is so weird, because he looked at me, and I went, <laughs> and then he was like, Did you? and I go, you have to do that on stage. Really? No, I will. 
that's so funny. Also, if you're wearing a unicorn thing, instead you could do this. <laughs> that's a horse. What On does next a week's, do? that's not a unicorn. We're going to bring somebody <laughs> else in to see if they can see what one of the most famous creatures of our generation sounds like. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more holiday meatballs right after this. <laughs> Oh, that show I hate, but I'm watching. That show I, go, I love, but I cannot put it on. No, I, I don't know why. If it's on, I ain't changing it. If it's off, I'm not going to look for it. And they go, guys, this is a pitch meeting for the show. <laughs> We're trying to get people, advertisers to buy in. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's awful, though. You guys have seen it, right? Holiday meatball transitions. Hey, Adam. Excuse me. Hey, it's for horses. Or is it for unicorns? It's the same basic structure. Swear to God, what's the difference? It's like a human versus a giant. There's a lot of differences, but there's just there's still the same build. What's the difference though? Horse unicorn. The main difference, although people would argue is the horn, no, that is a superficial literal difference. The actual main difference is the magic. A unicorn I'm into that. could fly. A unicorn could probably go into the oval office and I don't want to I don't know, maybe I shouldn't get this way. It's okay. It's I don't okay. know. I don't want to. I don't want to split my audience down the middle. Uh, I, you're doing it. If a unicorn could go into the Oval Office and stick his horn where the sun don't shine, I hey. tell you this much: the world would be more than flying with pixie dust. They would have faster test results for COVID. A plan for the homeless. We need that. We need to. Um, we need to recognize that. It isn't a war of who pays the most or the less, um, least amount of taxes. Yeah. It's about how could everybody, how could everybody find themselves in a position where how much they have to pay in taxes is the make or break. If the 30 to 20%, the top one to less, they could put it upon their shoulders, their chest, and hold it up strong together as we. It won't be the United States of America. It won't be the United States of me. It's a United States of decency, mm. of truth, of honesty, I love that. of trust, of nostalgia. Whether we live in a moment, whether we put it in a gala, it's something to envision, to dream, to reach. I'm neither a student nor am I brought here to teach. I'm offering you this thought, this, this vision, this dream, that if I could visualize something so it seems to have been something worth dreaming if i wake up nay a unicorn would say if i if i go to sleep and not dream a wink i'd wake up in the same reality i wouldn't know i think how could i see something that could only exist if at first you plant a seed and you let the children do the rest. Adam Ray, that's Adam Ray from that's Adam Ray from Talent Fresh Agency. I'm gonna have the goblin be forcing his cock into your mouth, <laughs> and you're just gonna be like, and he'll be holding your hands up. <laughs> no. and that's gonna be the end. No. Yeah. All oh, right. that was fun, I'm man. Do it. Good stuff. That was great. Dude. You want to go back in the bath? Could you hand me a towel? <laughs> Adam, could you have me a towel, dude?